Hey guys, Nick here from Resenchi Health and Fitness. Tonight we're going to try and finish off those kegs by sealing this section here. Are you listening? Damn. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit interesting because I've, uh, once again, never done this before. And this time, I haven't even seen a YouTube video. So, I'm just guessing. i got no idea. See how it goes. Um, Alright, so, first up, I bought some of this stuff here, which is high-performance glazing silicone. I don't know if it's the right kind. They had, like... 50,000 different types But this one says that it it um, It'll stick to timber steel aluminium ceramic glass many plastics, so that's stainless steel. I figured it should work. Why not? Um, Blah 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 a lot of reading on there couldn't be fucked. We'll just see what happens um, Now I haven't done this before but I have seen it done before so I know you need one of these. So, I went and got one. Um, I was also clever enough to get one of these because I know you need one of these. And I did read enough to say if, um, if you spill it or you fuck up and you need to clean it up while it's still wet, use mineral turpentine. Terps. So, I got me little bits and pieces. Um, I'm going to pull out the center parts of the kegs and um, see how we go. Alright, so she's all set up and ready to go. Didn't uh, didn't take too long to figure out actually, but um, she's all primed, ready to go. I just got to uh, pull these suckers out, the center pins out of those. Um, clean them up a little bit, just to make sure there's no uh, residue or any shit in there. Um, clean it up and uh, we'll get ready to go. Alrighty, so what I've done is I've got this part here. I've taped that washer part up onto this grommet so it sticks up as high as it can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some silicon around here and a little bit more around the inside here. Um, and then I'm just going to go lit. Stick that in there, and then lock it in place, so that um, this actually locks it um, in like that, and that'll you know mecha mechanically seal it in place, um, and just leave it like that until the silicon sets. I'll probably put another bit on the outside there, um, and hopefully just sort of smooth it off. Um, and yeah, leave it for a couple of days, maybe a week, till it sets. Um, and then put some water in the kegs and see how they go. Um, that's the plan, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I've siliconed the shit out of that. Top and bottom, so if it doesn't seal one way, hopefully it seals the other. And I'll put some silicon around the inside of that. So, in theory, now I did silicon, silicon it once already, but I realized that once I've blip and then locked it and left it to set, I won't be able to undo this again. So, better do it right the first time. So, there's a shitload of silicon inside there. There's a bit of silicon on the top there, as you can see. Um, now, should I use a spatula or something? Probably should. Don't want to use my fingers. I suppose it can't hurt. Anyway, better be sure. So we'll just fucking silicon up the top. Very gingerly. Just fucking apply that on there. Very generous. Don't want it to fucking leak at all. 
So there we go. That's fucking... That's pretty fucking sealed. Pretty fucking sealed. Fucking piece of cardboard, so I'll use that to just smooth it off a bit. We'll give it a nice, nice finish. How do you do this anyway? Like, I've, is this how you do it? I don't know. Now, see that? That's pretty smooth, huh? Now, logic says to me, there's fucking no gaps whatsoever there. So, when that seals, dries, cures, that should be sealed, right? Makes sense to me. Now, I've applied a shitload on there, <laughs> and um, on the cartridge it says this is used for sealing aquariums, so it's used to being totally submerged in water. That's what it's designed for. So, that's one down. We'll do the next one. Um, and then I'll have to leave it probably a week just to be safe. Fucking air bubbles. So I'll leave that about a week to be safe. Um, and then come back fill them up with water and hopefully they, they seal and we can start using them. I'll uh, do the next one. Alright, there you have it. Two gummed up silicon fucking tops there. It's a little rough, but um, yeah. If it does a job, it does a job. So, that went surprisingly easy. That was really easy, actually. Um, yeah, I'm a little unnerved about how easy that went. Um, but yeah, I'll leave these to cure for about a week and, um, yeah, we'll see how they go. Alright guys, so it's, uh, it's been about a week. We're gonna check back in with our kegs and see how they're going. Alright, so, as you can see there, that's all gummed up, dried, cured, hard, well it's not hard, it's jelly, but, you know, bang bang, all done. Um, I am fairly confident that these won't leak because, well there's just a lot of goopy crap all over it, it's completely sealed. And inside there, is, I put heaps and heaps in there, like it's all chocked up in there too. So... That, uh, you know, that won't leak. I'm fairly sure that won't leak. Um, so we'll just put these back in the kegs and uh, fill, them, fill them up with water and they should be good to go. So I've screwed that in there now. Time for the moment of truth, as you can hear. There's a bit of liquid still in there. Moment of truth. Hey! Look at that. Nothing comes out. Winner! Okay, so I had another thought. Um, just going to rinse them out, put some water in, shake it around a bit and rinse them out because because I've sealed up um, that pressure release. If there's residue still inside there when you're working out and doing other bits and pieces, shaking it around, that'll um, you know increase the pressure inside. Because I can't push that center seal down uh, to release the pressure, if there's a pressure buildup in there, when I go to undo it, it'll be very hard, if not impossible, to undo. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean them out fairly well, um, put some water in, shake it around, probably get something in there, um, high pressure hose or something, just spray the crap out of it, um, give it a real thorough clean out and uh, fill them up with water and she's good to go.
Alright, so I've given those a pretty good clean out. Um, now I've just got to fill them up. A little bit of a pain because the tap that comes out of the wall doesn't come out far enough to put the water into the keg. So, and I haven't got a hose line around. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of what we call the old bush mechanics. So, basically all I need is an extender. So I'm going to turn this water bottle into a funnel. Like so. So now, tap goes in there, water goes into the keg. Simple. Is that easy? Make a funnel. Cut the bottom of a water bottle. Easy done. There we have it. Completed project. Filling up those kegs turned in to be a bit of a workout in itself. Because uh, I, I was weighing them as I went. Um, so, this is what we've got. Oh, we got a little fella weighing in at 25 kilos. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus! <laughs> and the big fella weighing in at 35 kilos. Oh. Now, when you say 25 and 30 kilos, it doesn't sound like that much. But I've got to tell you, water moving around in there, right? It's not like you're picking up a barbell, right? Barbell, stationary, it just, uh, you know, it doesn't move. Picking up the thing, the water starts sloshing around you, getting this rocking backwards and forwards and inertia and stuff like that. <sighs> Makes it really hard. Um, anyway, that's it. She's all done, ready to go. We're going to be seeing these in the next couple of workouts. Um, Monday starts the new program, uh, doing some strongman uh, strength training stuff. I'm going to be using these kegs a fair bit. Um, that's it for today, folks. Be cool. Catch you next time.